Today, I'm flipping through the nest and burrows from the Good and the Beautiful Signs for Little Hearts and Hands. This is a new release. This is my first time really diving into it, and right away, I can tell it's packed with so many fun and gentle lessons for those young learners. Just from the table of contents, you can see it covers everything from animals that nest and burrow to habitats like rivers, rainforests, and even the outback. I'll share my first impressions and give you a peek inside so you can see if it might be a good fit for your homeschool too. They also came out with the My Second Poetry Reader and I'll give you a little sneak peek on that as well. Okay guys, this comes with the parent guide which has 30 lessons and then we have the big book of science stories and if you're familiar with the good and the beautiful it has that same style so if you're used to using the science for little hearts and hands they have other ones i have flip throughs on my channel on the previous ones that they have but this is has everything to do with nests and burrows so think you know birds different types of mammals think crocodiles frogs so many different types of wildlife so i'm going to show you a little bit of a flip through let you know a little bit about the course and show you what's inside so the parent guide is here and when you flip through it you will notice that you have 30 lessons like i said there is going to be an audio portion to it as well depending on the lesson that you are on there are seven lessons that have audio and 15 lessons that have actual stories that go along with it. And I'll show you inside the big book of science stories in just a little bit. You also have a QR code here that will take you to the Good and the Beautiful app where all the audio narrations will be. These lessons are meant to be open and go, but there are some activities that need a little bit of prep and they give you all the activity supplies that you need here so you can prep that before you start the course. You will notice that when you do open up the parent guide, you're going to have orange text that is just a note for the parent. So before you read the black text to the child. So over here, as you see animals in the night, you will have a black text here and you are going to be reading that. Then there is either a story time, an activity, or an audio narration, which includes game ponds in the back of the book that you would need to use for that particular lesson. There is a supplies needed here before you start. There's always a discussion portion. You get to discuss the lesson afterwards and you'll see that your child is retaining the information and learning about that specific topic. There is sometimes an optional activity as well and it'll tell you what you need for the optional activity up here and in the beginning of the course book as well. This one over here is animals that hunt. This lesson is a little bit different than the other one because you had the actual story time. For this one particular lesson, you're gonna have the audio narration. So you're talking about animals that hunt. You have a opening over here that you're going to start off with. You're gonna have your audio narration and then you're gonna grab your game pawn. Your game pawn will be in the back of the book over here. Okay, so you'll grab that game pawn. It'll tell you how to assemble it. It'll tell you how to do everything. Once you're kind of used to the good and the beautiful flow, this will be just very easy for you. You'll have the little audio narration and it'll tell your child what to do with that game pawn. And then there's a discussion portion and there's also an optional activity. As you can see, there's different lessons. For example, this particular lesson has an activity and it'll tell you what you need up here and you can you know prepare for that activity before you start the lesson um, even before you start the course have all the supplies that you need there's an opening very same flow there is an opening here to start the activity then once you start the activity everything is laid out for you step by step so there's not you know you don't have to think about anything everything is there you'll do the activity with the child and there will be a discussion question So as you can see, it goes story time, audio, activity. Each lesson is very different and it's in a way where it's familiar for the child, but also it keeps it fun and unique and interesting. So 
every lesson looks a bit different, but at the same time, it's something familiar because they're doing these activities. They have the audio narration. They have the big book of science stories. So it keeps it fun and engaging for the child. So I really like that. I'm excited for some of these um, lessons where the topics are, you know, nests and burrows. That's just such a fun, you know, topic. There's mammals there. So how beautiful is that? Look at these illustrations too. So, so gorgeous. So fun. A backyard bird feeder. That's so fun. And the Good and the Beautiful actually has their um, bird notebook and you can actually get it as a free PDF. I'll have a link down below to it. I'll have a link to all of this in the description and on the pinned comment as well. But just so fun. My kids love birds. <laughs> Seabirds, that's so fun. Experiment, though there's activities, but there's also, I forgot to mention, there's also experiments. Um, I just kind of put that in the activity portion um, but yeah there is a lot of hands-on activities here too which is perfect for those little hands and they're very age appropriate which is nice if you're rainforest animal gorillas that's so fun <laughs> oh this is so fun the outback so so fun we're actually going to be going to the zoo so i'm actually going to start this right away with my youngest kids but my oldest kids which are my my niece and my oldest son we're going to do it all together as well we're in canada right now it's our summer kind of break but i like adding a little bit of fun into our summer and do almost like light school i'm going to be adding this into um our lineup for homeschool now let's take a look a little bit at the science um stories here here's the table of contents and you're going to notice a lot of the stories are very age appropriate they're not super short but i don't feel like they're super long either like my daughter does really well with these stories and you're gonna love like the kids love the illustrations like you know that's one of my favorite things about the science for little hearts and hands is actually the stories very diverse and unique illustrations very very nice i love it so all of these stories end with like a fun fact about whatever you know they're learning about and i love this because we can go over the different facts and like almost like an overview so that's really really fun look how beautiful that is so nice the good and the beautiful just, you know they outdo themselves when it comes to illustrations and i just like really enjoy how everything looks i'm going to show you one kind of in the middle so we just can get like different ones here so this one's exploring the reefs look how nice that is so nice just the images right like as you're reading it your child is just like really captivated by these illustrations that are so well done i absolutely love it so nice and like i told you the ocean facts isn't that so nice guys like how gorgeous super nice Let's see this one. The escaping chicken. <laughs> this is going to be sweet. Really nice. Okay, and that's the big book of stories. And you might see that your child might fall in love with these big book of science stories. And you can reread them again and again, right? This is kind of something that you would want on your shelf. And you could just like kind of pick up and read. And it would be like a science lesson in itself. Because there's always like, you know, fun facts about whatever you know you're learning about so it's just great i love these the big book of science stories one of my favorites so this science for little hearts and hands is geared towards the early elementary age so you're looking at you know uh your younger ages like preschool kindergarten grade one grade two but i've mentioned this before is that you if you have like that child that's in grade three grade four 
my son is going into the sixth grade, you know, I can always, you know, get them to listen in. The stories are fun and engaging. Uh, my second poetry reader, this is a level one book and it's a new one in their series. They're coming out with a lot of different readers. And I just want to give you a little look inside of it as well. If you have level one from The Good and the Beautiful, this goes beautifully with their curriculum because they're learning about all these sight words and phonics principles and that kind of stuff. And it goes really well with their lessons. So I would definitely recommend this if you have a child around this level, regardless if you use The Good and the Beautiful or not, you might really, really like this. And again, illustrations are just beautiful, unique, diverse, very beautiful. And it's nice because the poetry reader, it's a little bit different from their readers that they have because they have, you know, uh, my second nature reader, but now they're coming out with these poetry ones. They have one for level K as well. So it's nice that they're coming out with the different levels and it's so sweet. So definitely something that we're going to be using in our homeschool and it goes so well with their curriculum if you are using it. So I thought I would show you this because it's a new, this is a new release right now. Really pretty, right guys? Like so sweet, so nice. Okay guys, so that is the little flip through first impressions on the new science for little hearts and hands from the good and the beautiful. I hope this could help you out if you're thinking of getting it, you know, making a decision, an informed decision and, you know, taking a look at it before you purchase it is really nice. If this video did help you, I would so appreciate it if you can give it a thumbs up. If you made it until the end, leave me a little emoji with um, a little animal, maybe a bird <laughs> or your favorite type of animal. And if you decide to get the little hearts and hands after watching this video, consider using my link. It helps out my channel at no extra cost to you. So thank you so much if you end up using my link to purchase this. Of course, make sure to check out the second poetry reader as well. I'll have all the links down below guys for you to take a look. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.